I'm using two of these five gallon paint stir sticks. You could get these from Home Depot and I'll be using this apple barrel acrylic paint in the color burnt umber you could find this at walmart first i'm just spraying down the paint sticks with some water this will help thin out that acrylic paint and then just using a paper towel i just begin blending all of that acrylic paint all throughout the paint stick make sure you get the sides and the top and the bottom and now using some of these one gallon paint stir sticks, you could also find these at Home Depot. I am just measuring them to the width that I want for the five gallon paint stir sticks, which is six inches. So I just mark them off with a permanent marker and then using a very sharp box cutter this is how i cut my paint stir sticks you want to be very careful when doing this but i just use the box cutter and i go over the same spot a couple of times all around the circumference of the paint stick and then once it just pops apart then you sand the edge and then I just do the same method, spraying it down with some water, applying that brown acrylic paint, and then just using a paper towel to blend it all in. And once the paint was applied, you wanna just allow this all to completely dry. Now let's go ahead and assemble this all together. So I laid down the five gallon paint stir sticks. I'm using a ruler because again i want to make sure that these are six inches apart once i figured that out now i'm placing the one gallon paint stir sticks and i am measuring them at four inches apart once i had the measurements to where i wanted i just marked it off with a pencil so i did not lose the spot when i go to glue this all together so once that was complete, now I'm just using some of this wood glue that I get from Dollar Tree with a mixture of hot glue and just start attaching all of the paint stir sticks together. So now you can make this picture frame go vertically or horizontally. I'm going to have it go horizontally. So I'm using some of this jute string and I cut it just a little bit longer than the length of the paint stir stick. I just put down a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of one of the paint stir sticks, but you wanna do it on both sides. And then just for some extra durability, I did use my staple gun. And then I got these mini clothespins from Dollar Tree. I just placed those right onto the string and then just placed my pictures. You could use any picture of your choice. I don't have any kids. I have fur babies. So I put some pictures of my fur babies on the clothespins. And there you go, guys. Look at how adorable this came out. And this was super inexpensive to make. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.